Today we're going to be doing a little bit of geometry practice. So before we jump in and attempt our question, I do just want to talk about the theorems that we've learned so far. So if you printed out today's handout, you will have on that sheet a list of the theorems that we've done so far. Um, I wrote them out on some little post-it notes. I would recommend that you make yourself a formula sheet of all of the theorems, what the diagrams look like, and what the angles add to, or if they're equal, or whatever's special about them. So the ones that we've done so far, we have the complementary angle theorem, otherwise known as CAT, that says that two angles that have that little square in the corner are going to add to 90 degrees. We have SAT, the supplementary angle theorem, that's for straight lines. If you have two or more angles that make a straight line, they will add to 180 degrees. RAT is the reflex angle theorem. Um, it basically says that if you have angles going around in a full circle, they're going to add to 360 degrees. And then the opposite angle theorem says that if you have two perfectly straight crossing lines, the angles on the opposite sides are going to be equal. Um, we also talked about three parallel line patterns. So I have Z pattern, um, angles in Z pattern are equal. Um, F pattern, the angles in F pattern are equal. And C pattern, the angles in C pattern are not equal. They actually add to 180 degrees. And then we did our shapes. So we did triangles and quadrilaterals. So the three angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. That is the sum of the angles in a triangle theorem, otherwise known as SATT or SAT. Um, ETT is the equilateral triangle theorem. So an equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same, all of the angles are the same, and they all equal 60 degrees. I accidentally wrote 360, but I crossed that three out. Um, ITT is the isosceles triangle theorem. Isosceles triangles have two equal sides as two equal angles, and it's always the two angles where those equal sides meet the third side. So those two are equal. And then the SAQT is the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral theorem. Uh, and it says that in a shape with four sides, those four angles add to 360 degrees. So I have these for reference. It's a good idea if you did not print today's handout for you to make yourself a little sheet of those as well. So our question today says determine the measure of the labeled angles. Uh, it also asked you to state your theorem and show your work. Um, it's a very complicated looking diagram. There are six labeled unknowns that we want to find. We have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And there are a couple of labeled angles here. Um, I think there's six of them all together that are actually labeled. And it is our job to figure out the ones that are missing. Now, do you have to do them in order? No. If you want to try to start with F and then do B and then do D and then do A, that's your choice but you might find that you don't have enough information sometimes. So I do like to try to work through them in alphabetical order, and then if I get stuck, I'll try to go find another one and then maybe come back. So the other thing that I have are some pieces of paper. I do find that it helps if I can cover up parts of the diagram. It helps me isolate what I'm working on and see specific patterns instead of just this whole giant picture at once. So I am going to try to start with A, and I notice two things. I notice that A is in a triangle, but I also know that A is part of this angle with the 238. So if I look at the triangle, I notice that in the triangle I am missing A and B. So there's two things missing. I can't solve for two things at the same time unless they're the same, and those are not the same. So I am going to focus on just those two angles. Now that is the reflex angle theorem, otherwise known as RAT, that when you go around in a full circle, the angles add to 360 degrees. So to do angle A in my table, I'm going to start by saying that this is the reflex angle theorem, or RAT, and that those angles add to 360 degrees. So that means that A plus 238 equals 360, and then I'm going to solve by subtracting 238 from 360. So 360 take away 238 gives me 122 degrees. So in the answer section, I'm going to write 122 degrees, 
And then I'm also going to label it in my picture so that I know that I've figured that one out. Okay, one down, five to go. So if I take a look, I notice that the angle I just found is part of this triangle. And if I cover up the other parts of the picture, I notice that there's just a triangle there. Um, and I can use the 26 and the 122 to help me find B. So the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. That is sat with two T's for the sum of the angles in a triangle theorem. So I'm going to take this triangle and say that because of sat, the extra T, uh, those three angles are going to add to 180 degrees. So that means B plus 26 plus 122 equals 180 degrees. And then I am going to collect my like terms on the left hand side by adding 26 and 122. I believe that's 148. That equals 180. And then I'm going to subtract 148 from both sides. 148, nope, 180, take away 148 is 32 degrees. So that means that angle there is 32 degrees. So I am going to label that my angle is 32 degrees. Okay, two down, four to go. Um, when I look at the rest of the picture, um, I'm going to see what I can see. So I notice here there is a very large triangle. Um, I don't currently know a single angle in that triangle, so I don't think that's going to be my next stop. Um, up here, I notice that there is a quadrilateral. Um, for that quadrilateral, I know one, two, three of the angles, and we're just missing the fourth one. So I feel like that might be my next step. And it's also the next letter if I work alphabetically. So angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. That is S-A-Q-T. So I'm going to write down that I am using S-A-Q-T. And then I'm going to add those four angles together. So I have C plus 95, plus 142, plus 35, and those should add to 360 degrees. And I should have done this one line higher because this is not going to fit in that box. Uh, so I just took those angles, added them together. So I'm going to collect my like terms. So 95 plus 142 plus 35 is 272 and that still equals 360 and I should have started at the top of the box but I didn't so I'm going to try to finish my calculation over here I'm going to subtract 272 from both sides so 360 take away 272 gives me 88 degrees so C is 88 degrees. I'm going to write 88 degrees in the box for the answer. And then I'm going to come up to my diagram and label that this is 88 degrees. Now if you ever decide you want to check, you can try just adding those four angles together to make sure that they add to 360. We're adding these angles together to make sure they add to 180. You can just try subbing all of the numbers back in to see if they add to what they're supposed to. Okay, so we've got that now. We're looking at D, E, and F. So I still have this triangle, and I still don't know any angles in there, so that's still a problem. I haven't looked yet down here. Um, there is a straight line. Straight lines add to 180 degrees. That's sat. But I'm missing two different angles, and those are clearly not the same. One is very small, and one is much larger, so I know they're not the same measurement. Um, that only leaves me with... D. Now D, if I grab my third piece of paper, uh, has four angles going all the way around in a circle. 
and that's going to be RAT, our reflex angle theorem. So none of these are actually reflex angles, but if you were to add together the three that we know, the 88, the 118, and the 32 degrees, those together would make a reflex angle, um, and then they would add all of them together to 360 degrees. So I'm going to say that this is RAT. I'm going to add those four angles together and set them equal to 360 degrees. So this is RAT. I'm going to start at the top this time. So I have D plus 32 plus 118 plus 88, and that should add to 360 degrees. All right, so I'm going to collect my like terms. So 32 plus 118 plus 88 gives me 238. That equals 360 degrees. And then I'm going to subtract that number from 360 degrees. And I get 100 and 22 degrees. Now, we had another angle that was 122 degrees, and that was this angle here. Oh, oops, can't see the picture. Uh, over here, which was A. But that is actually just coincidence. <laughs> it's not that there was a special pattern there that made them equal. It's just the numbers happened to work out that way. Okay, so we're down to E and F. Now, E and F are down here at the bottom. Now, we said that they together make a straight line, but there's two unknowns. Um, and then E is part of this triangle. I did just figure out that this is 122, and I forgot to label. So if I go back and I look at my picture, there is a triangle here. And I now know at least one angle. And I also have these little tick marks that show that it's isosceles which means there should be two angles that are equal here, and they should be where the two equal sides meet the third unequal side. So this angle down here is E. This angle over here would also be E. So if I add 122 E and E together, that should equal 180 degrees. Now I have used two theorems here. I used ITT to identify that there were two equal angles, and I have used SATT to say that they add to 180 degrees. So down here, I'm going to write that I've used ITT and SATT. The ITT was to label that those angles were equal. And then I'm going to add them. So E plus E plus D, which is 122 degrees, equals 180. Triangles add to 180 degrees. My like terms this time are variables. E plus E makes 2E plus 122 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 122 from 180 to get 58. And then I'm kind of out of space here. Um, I'm going to divide both sides. So 58 divided by 2 is 29. So that means angle E is 29 degrees. I'm going to fill that in Oops, over here. We are almost done. So this is 29. I'm also going to label the one on this side, though I don't really need it. What I really am interested in is the one on this side. So when I look at my picture, we're down to F. And E, F, and 35 degrees make a straight line. Straight lines add to... 180 degrees, that is SAT, S-A-T, the Supplementary Angle Theorem. So I'm going to write S-A-T. I'm going to say that F plus 35 plus 29 equals 180 degrees. I'm going to add 35 and 29 to get 64. And then subtract that from 180. to get 116 degrees. So our final answer there, the last one, is 116 degrees. That was a lot of work. <laughs>